I'm standing in the main cargo hold of a 777 freighter. I'm in Doha and I'm filming my series of behind the scenes at Qatar Airways. Behind me, they're loading this aircraft for a flight to Delhi. This is an Avgeek's dream come true. I've always wanted to see these operations. This is going to be one epic video. Join me and we'll do it together. Air cargo plays a vital role in world trade and is obviously an important part of an airline's commercial success. However, beyond views like this that we see whilst waiting at airports, the world of air cargo is largely hidden from view. I therefore jumped at the chance to get behind the scenes to see how it all works. When I arrived at cargo operations, it was very clear that safety is a top priority. We were given a full safety briefing and provided with high-vis vests and safety caps. Yeah, we're in the buggy, we're set to go. First thing we're going to do is head out to an aircraft to see it being loaded. Uh, this has been something I've wanted to do for ages. It's uh, really, really excited. Then we're going to have a look around the rest of the operation. Carolyn here is in charge of uh, Qatar Cargo. Yes. And as a fellow Aussie from Perth. Yes, that's true. <laughs> Our timing was perfect as one of Qatar's four dedicated 747 freighters was just heading out on its way to Guangzhou. I'd love to get inside one of these magnificent aircraft one day. Even just seeing it up this close and personal was an amazing experience. Having waved goodbye to the Queen of the Skies, it was time to check out one of Qatar's 26 dedicated 777 freighters which was just being loaded for a flight to Delhi. This is cool. Obviously this is not the normal passenger experience. Watching the cargo loading operation was fascinating. The actual cargo is packed on what they call main deck units or MDUs. Each MDU is moved using floor mounted rollers and secured firmly in place by a series of clips. The cargo itself is packed to take into account the shape of the aircraft and is then covered with nets or plastic wrapping. The load controller makes sure that everything is loaded in the right place to ensure aircraft weight balance. These freighters are huge and the rollers make everything totally manoeuvrable. Therefore, loading a couple of large jet engines is just a normal day in the office for these guys. Just behind the flight deck in front of the cargo hold, there are four seats. Here. Now obviously uh, no passengers are allowed on a uh, cargo flight, so I've never been on a cargo flight, but at least I can now say I've sat in the seats. Our next stop was the horse stables and pet facility. Each year, Qatar transports over 12,500 horses, 13,000 pets, 12,000 birds, as well as livestock and various exotic animals. Each animal is well taken care of with dedicated staff looking after pets between flights. Qatar is currently building a whole new facility for its pets in transit. Then it was on to the main warehouse, the backbone of the entire Qatar cargo operation. So this is the heart of the Qatar cargo operation, the main warehouse. Here all the goods come in and they go out, so they break and build. The, uh, the different consignments and stuff. Over 1.7 million tonnes of cargo per year are handled by Qatar Airways Cargo, going to all corners of the world. Some 3,300 staff working around the clock ensure that it all gets packed, processed and ultimately delivered on time. So as you can imagine, this place was a hive of activity with stuff happening everywhere you looked. It's like this 24-7. The numbers are staggering. Just on the cargo side, Qatar operates 29,000 freighter flights per year. On top of this, over 600,000 tonnes of freight is carried in the bellies of passenger aircraft every year. Next time you fly Qatar, chances are freight, processed in this facility, will be right beneath your feet. 
Right next door to the main warehouse is the Climate Control Centre. Here, four large warehouses provide transit storage for both chilled and frozen goods. My host, Dinaraj, who's manager of Hub Operations Outbound, took me through the operation. Climate Controlled Freight covers everything from vaccines through to fresh fruit and vegetables. These shipments are both time and temperature sensitive and their every movement is fully controlled. One big bit of business for the airlines is fresh flowers, which are grown in Ecuador and East Africa, flown to Amsterdam for auction and then shipped all over the world. Just in the two weeks leading up to Valentine's Day, Qatar operated 20 extra freight flights to transport over 4,000 tonnes of flowers. That's a lot of love. As we were driving back, we caught a glimpse of the 777 we'd seen being loaded earlier, heading out as flight QR8662 to Delhi, just one of 29,000 freighter flights that Qatar Cargo will operate this year. Having seen this operation, I've now got a far greater appreciation for the sheer scale and size of the cargo side of the industry. These guys literally keep the world moving. I'd like to give a massive shout out and thank you to everybody at Qatar Airways Cargo, as well as the team at Qatar Airways, for making my visit and this behind the scenes series possible. I'm grateful beyond words. And of course, a big thank you to you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please do so, as there's some really cool videos on the way. In the meantime, as always, happy travels.